Stephen Van Zant said that the saddest and most tense day up until that point on the set of Sopranos was when you were killed off. That apparently people were yelling at each other, frustrated. Oh, he, he said that? He did, yeah. Talk to me about, about that day. Uh, well, it wasn't just a day. It was a whole week. A week what for that they did. That was a whole week. What they did is they built um, an interior. They built a boat. See, when we got on the boat down at Asbury, um, when we got on the boat down in Asbury and we took off, and you went down, when, when, when Tony said, let's go see what it looks like down there, we cut to the interior when we're coming down. That was a, a boat built, the interior of a boat built on the set at Silver Cup Studios. Ah. And we were in there for a whole week. Wow. You know, shooting that stuff. Um, but David saved the last day for the shootout. Mm -hmm. You know, so I got shot. I'm lying down there. I want to stay in character. I didn't feel like getting up. I was all squib. And all of a sudden, Jimmy comes over and he put this big box on my on my belly. And I said, I look up, I said, what's this? And he said, uh, well, why don't you get off your fat ass and open it? And I got up and I opened it up and it's this humidor. I got it in my other room. And um, it was filled with Cuban cigars. Wow. And um, there was a and there's a nice, nice little um, you know engravement on the humidor from these guys. That happened. Then Tony Sirico was fighting with Henry because it was the last day. And Henry says Henry Bronson, he was the first assistant, his first AD. He said, Tony, turn in your watch today. Tony said, I'm taking it home. <laughs> he said, you can't take it home. We need it for next season. He said, I'm taking it home. Vinny died today, and I'm taking it home. Then they were fighting. Tony took the watch. Home. Oh, he got oh, it. Man. He got it. Steven, I'd never seen him so upset. And he went over to David. And that's when I kind of knew that me and Steven were friends and we were, we were, we were, we were becoming friends. What are you getting rid of Benny for? Hmm. He was he bad. He's got to eat. He's got to eat too. What are you getting rid of him for? Get rid of me. I got another job. <laughs> there was a lot of tension on the set. But look what happened. It blew up. Yeah. It blew up. Yeah. Nobody knows when you're doing something like that how big it's going to get. No. You don't know. Did you have a uh, feeling at all? Well, it was the second season, and the first season really took off, and everybody was subscribing to HBO. Yeah, we knew it was something special. Uh, see, I was talking to somebody the other day about this. We were during the first season. We used to go out to New Jersey, and my house was in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. My big pussy's house was in Jersey City. And there's a scene when um, Skip, the Fed, comes over the house and you see me on the porch and there's a cemetery in back of us. That was Jersey City. Okay. The second season, they built my house inside Silver Cup. And when yeah. they do that, that means, because you don't get your, all your scripts, you know, you get your scripts episode to episode. That means I said, uh-oh, they got plans from, for me and my wife. If they're going to um, use the, the set, and they put time and money. But it, they save a lot of money from going to location. They're right there. Okay, let's go to Big Pussy's house. Let's go. So I also put the Bada Bing, the club in there, not the room with the lap dancers, but the, with the little back room. Right. And they, right. Had, they also moved from Jersey, from doing interiors at that person's house, which was Tony and Edie's uh, house. They also did a, a, a set uh, on a Silver Cup. So they put HBO, put a lot of money into using silver cup but it made it easier because the crew and the talent didn't have to go all over they just went right into silver cup you know right so when that happens you say well if they're investing this kind of money into this something's going to happen so and you felt like you would probably stick around for longer because of that not me because i knew it was my last year yeah david told me it was my last year he told me after season one even though i had a seven-year contract that don't mean nothing they're going to kill you. They're going to kill you. People say up until, uh, you know, Big Pussy got whacked on Sopranos that never before was a main character 
killed off like that. They usually yeah. put him in women's protection, he shows up again, you know, like if it was a soap opera, I would have showed up as, I would have showed up like, yeah, you didn't kill me. I always <laughs> felt that if they, David wanted to bring me back, he could play it that Tony had a dream. Oh, and then uh, it could be one of those sequences and you could just appear. Yeah, I always, because even though as the time went by, when they started talking about him, uh, Tony's characters, I don't want, I don't want to hear about him. He was shut them up. And Tony yeah. kept seeing, um, he saw me in the mirror, he kept seeing me. And then Sirico's character, Paulie started seeing me. So we were haunt. I was haunting these guys. But I always said to myself, uh, if they ever wanted to do something, they could probably figure out a way that I didn't die.